Now the sun is just starting to climb up over the treetops. And it's going to be a beautiful day that's plain to see. Welcome to Bill Dance Outdoors, America's most popular and longest-running TV fishing show. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today. I think it would be safe to say that when it comes to covering a variety of water depths quickly, most bass fishermen would agree that of all the fishing lures on the market, none would equal the crankbait. Crankbaits come in several models, and each are designed for different situations. Some for deep water applications, other for shallow water. Some are made to wobble, others are made to wiggle. Some are long, some short, some fat, some skinny. Most are designed to represent forage that bass feed on. Shad, bluegill, minnows, crawfish, perch, all of which will catch fish at one time or another. To be successful with any of these lures, an angler must first determine the depth the most active fish are using, and then begin experimenting with different models, sizes, and colors. He must also be aware of his presentation at all times. You know, that is really, really critical the presentation. You gotta mix it up to find out what the fish want. Seemingly little things can make all the difference too. Let's say as an example that you've established the best depth in an ideal location and you know the fish are feeding on shad. Here most fishermen would usually select a crankbait that resembles the forage and a model that will run to a depth where the bait fish are located. So you follow suit. Yet, after a few dozen casts, you fail to even get a strike. You varied your presentation from fast to slow, slow to fast, to stop and go. What's happening here? Believe it or not, it could be something as simple as the action of your bait. You know, bass have the uncanny ability to differentiate slight details and differences in lures through a hydrodynamic imaging process which we as anglers can't understand. Now, what this tells us is that no lure is really better than another all the time. But sometimes using different lures can be the key to success. There's a little point that comes out right there and drops off. You can tell by that outcrop in a cover. It drops off real quick. There's several of those right up that bank. There we go. Where are you going, man? Whoa, it's a nice one. Whoa, boy, it's a nice one. Look at that and pull it. Good fish, too. That is a good fish. Okay, easy. Come up here. Come up here for your big head. Come here. Now, look at me. There it is. Look at that one. That's a good six and a half pound fish. Whoa. See, biggin. Woo. Bill Dance Outdoors is sponsored in part by Rebel, catch fish anywhere. Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. 
and Mercury Marine, number one on the water. We are the wanderers. We are the ones who go out amongst the trees to get back to our roots. The ones with rivers flowing in our veins and an internal compass that always points toward the great outdoors. It's all within reach. Ascend. Gear for the adventure in you. Available at Bass Pro Shops and other fine retailers. Hey, KVD here. Let me take a moment to tell you about this new Team KVD reel from Quantum. It's ultra light and super fast to help me cover lots of water. And it's just 79 bucks. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, gotta go. The new Team KVD series. Only from Quantum. Catch fish anywhere with Rebel. Today's conditions log is brought to you by the heart of Florida's Emerald Coast. Discover the lure of Gulf to Table Seafood brought in daily by Florida's largest fishing fleet. Visit our website and download your free Gulf to Table fishing and eating guide today. deeper water. Look at that one. He's a bulldog. He's bulldogging it. Nice fish. A pretty little fish right there. Laser eye, didn't you? Nice bait. Okay, baby. Time to say bye bye. That thing looks so much like a shiner. It's unbelievable. It really does. Okay, you know, different models create different vibrations, and bass, for sure, can detect differences in water displacement. Anything moving through the water creates displacement. A wobbling action creates one type of sound, while a wiggling action creates a completely different type of sound. Now this is why you should always experiment with different lure actions before leaving an area you've really got confidence in. Now speaking of confidence, here's a prime example. See that shoreline behind me? In the past couple of days, we've caught some really nice bass off of it in a depth of six to 10 feet. And the best lure was a fat-bodied crankbait. Now, today, I've made several passes up and down it, but only caught one bass, and I missed another one. Well, I knew the fish were still there because I could see them on my grab. So after changing lures, I've caught about six, and that's in the past couple of hours. And the bait that I'm using now is an olive shad colored Bass Pro Shop 5 inch laser eye shad. It's a flat sided bait that I'm fishing in a depth of approximately 8 feet. The action that's triggering these strikes right now is a tight wiggling action versus a wobbling action that I was first trying. This flat sided bait wiggles where round sided baits wobble creating two different vibrations. And right now the tight wiggling action is by far the most attractive.
Hello. Here we come. Every one of them run right out to the boat with it. Where are you going? Oh, got another good one. And I mean a good one. Look at that big baby go there. He's full of himself. Yes, he is, boys and girls. Come on. Throw your big old head around. Don't get me hooked. Don't get me hooked. Ooh. Oh, look at that. That shiner is a five inch. That laser eye, that's not very big for that big old mouth. Isn't that pretty? Yes. See you, sweetie. Today's show is sponsored in part by Quantum Rods and Reels, fishing at a quantum level. Mystic Lubricants. Lubrication Domination and Tracker Boats Fish the Finest Today's equipment log is brought to you by Motor Guide Precise control, quiet operation and unmatched reliability Motor Guide trolling motors are engineered for anglers Tracker Boats, America's number one selling fishing boats, recognized for high customer satisfaction ratings from its owners, brings you the Tracker Promise, the best factory warranty in aluminum boats, a bow to stern warranty for five years, plus a limited lifetime structural and deck warranty. And there's more, because at the end of the day, it's not just a boat, it's a tracker. Fuel efficiency you can rely on. It's good to have mercury behind you. Mercury engine tap. Smooth, quiet power you can rely on. It's good to have mercury behind you. We are the wanderers. We are the ones who go out amongst the trees to get back to our roots the ones with rivers flowing in our veins and an internal compass that always points toward the great outdoors. It's all within reach. Ascend, gear for the adventure in you. Available at Bass Pro Shops and other fine retailers. Today's show is sponsored in part by Gamakatsu, world's finest hooks. Grand Slam Mono and Brave, Big Fish Tough for when the money's on the line. And by Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. you going? Stripping that drag, I know that. Oh, look at that big old, that big old fat bass. Barely hooked. 
Barely hooked. Come here. Come up here. Wow! There it goes. Who are you looking at? Who are you looking at? If you don't think skinny sided baits aren't effective, think about this. How many bass do you think are caught every year on lipless crankbaits? There's absolutely no telling. Well, basically, that's what you've got here. It's a laser eye shed swimmer bait, which has a durable soft plastic holographic finished body. And it's available in three sizes, a three inch, four inch, and five inch. Now, some of the features I really like about it are, it's soft, not hard. When bass are soft biting, they won't turn it loose as quick, simply because it feels so natural, enabling you to get a much quicker and better hook set. It has a double jointed action that produces a natural swimming motion and creates a highly attractive vibration that fish can detect from a mighty long distance. It also has oversized eyes, which is a major attraction. Why? Well, predator fish like the bass use the eyes of prey fish as a focal or aiming point during the strike. The fishing line we're using today is Grand Slam fluorocarbon coated, which is an extra strong 100% copolymer with a fluorocarbon outer coating. It's super sensitive, low stretch, has a tremendous knot strength, abrasion resistance, and is virtually invisible and very manageable either on spinning or bait casting. You look at the size of a bass's mouth and what they, what they, what was that? What they can eat is unbelievable. They can take a bluegill or tilapia much bigger than my hand like that and just take it just like it was nothing to it. Take a big eight, nine pound fish. There he is. Well. A little guy. See, he tried to eat the whole thing. And his mouth's not all that big. Look at that. See that little bow? He got that whole thing down his. That ain't nothing to that little mouth. They, they can eat more than you think they can eat. Bill's question and answer of the week is brought to you by Bill Dance Digital. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube for great information that can improve your fishing. What is a power pole anchor? Well, it's nothing more than a hydraulic shallow water anchoring system for your boat that allows you to quickly and quietly stop it at the push of a button and holds it tight in both wind and current, giving you time to tie on a lure, to fish an area or spot slowly, carefully, and thoroughly, plus whatever you might want to do before moving on. Today's show is sponsored in part by Orca Coolers, the all-American everywhere product. And Motor Guide, trolling motors engineered for anglers. Closed captioning is provided by Bill Dance Digital. Follow us. We are the wanderers. We are the ones who go out amongst the trees to get back to our roots. The ones with rivers flowing in our veins and an internal compass that always points toward the great outdoors. It's all within reach. Ascend. Gear for the adventure in you. Available at Bass Pro Shops and other fine retailers. 
You know, I look for two things in a quality fishing line, high knot strength and great abrasion resistance. And this Grand Slam Copolymer fluorocarbon coated line has that and a whole lot more. It's so smooth, it works great for both spinning and casting, and it's virtually invisible. Now you see it, now you don't. And they don't either. This is one dead gum great fishing line, and you can't beat the price. High seas, the best I've ever used. I think every fisherman knows that ethanol gasoline can mean trouble to an outboard motor. That's why I use Mystic JT4 all-in-one outboard engine oil. It's an ultra-premium two-cycle oil plus stabilizer, ethanol treatment, and engine cleaner. And it's guaranteed to protect your engine warranty. And that means you can focus less on measuring and guessing and more on fishing and doing what you love to do. Today's product tip is brought to you by Garmin's new Echo Map series of chart plotter sonar combos. These awesome push button units provide the clearest scanning sonar images on the water. Why do I like the seven foot rod that I'm using today so much? Simply put, I know with a longer rod, I can cast my lure further and on the retrieve, it will pull line further with the same effort as a shorter rod. This moves my hook further and quicker. So it just stands to reason that I'll improve my strike catch ratio more with a longer rod, like with this 7 foot Quantum Acris. If you're looking for the latest fishing information and tips, be sure to check out the free Bill Dance mobile app, available for both iOS and Android users. That's a school of bait. There's a big fish. See him right there? He's right about 8 foot. Now goes a bait fish right up above here. I got into about 12. Most of the bass we're catching along this shoreline are suspended in a depth of about 10 feet. And we're following a 10 foot interval line, keeping our boat in a depth of about 15 to 20 feet. Now if this 10 foot interval line runs in closer to the shoreline, I'll move in with it. If it turns out, I'll follow it out but always keeping my boat, like I said, in about 15 to 20 feet of water, fan casting as I move along. Now the fish along this break are scattered, but have definitely selected a depth of about 10 feet, and they've been using this for several days. Now one key thing about this shoreline is that the best locations along this 10 foot break is where the 20 foot interval lines run in closest to it. There it is. There you go. Coming right at me every time. Another boy horse. He just wants to put it big. Oh, look at that. Jumping, jumping, jumping. Barely got him hooked. I just barely saw that hook in him. Just stay hooked there, baby. Pop goes the weasel. Let me get this out of the way. You know, establishing a depth pattern is perhaps the most important key to catching bass, regardless of what lure you're fishing. The best lure in the world, fish, with the perfect presentation, is not going to catch many fish if it's fished at the wrong depth. Bass select certain depth levels for a multitude of reasons, and if you're to catch them, you've got to get on their depth level, and one of the quickest ways to do this is with the aid of your grab. When checking out deeper depths, say 10 feet or deeper, I use my outboard, but in shallower depths, I normally use my trolling motor, and I've got a bow mount transducer on it, which is a major plus. I'm coming right at the boat. Big one, too. Let's 
Ooh, look at that big walling bass. Ooh. Look at that big fish. Look at that big honky bonk, as Tom Mann used to say. Oh, boy. Isn't that something? Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to show him off. Look at that, Johnny Morris. Look what your bait caught. Boy, today's been fun. We have caught some pretty fish. Yes, we have. You know, the profile of the laser eye shad seems to imitate a shiner or shad better than most crankbaits I've ever fished. And it's shown me many, many times that it catches bass when many other baits fail. I'll tell you what you do. You give one a try and see what you think. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching Bill Dance Outdoors. Please join us right here again next week. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today.